How's it going guys? My name is Derek Craig here with Oil Food Basics. We're here at Merida College's Oil and Gas Technical Exhibition 2018. It's our second annual one. And I'm here with Scott Gillespie yes. here with Harbors and Fisher. And he's gonna walk us through this amazing model here that we have on display that's just showing the basic operations of how a rod lift or pump jack system you know, works and how it lifts the fluid to surface. So Scott, you wanna walk us through okay. it? Okay. Um, for instance, this would actually be a clear ver uh, version of what a pump would actually look like. Um, and this actually, is all the way down in your formation, Yeah, this, right? this, this would actually be seated, this close seated in the tubing in a seating nipple down inside the tubing. Okay. Um, you would actually have, this is your plunger here, this would be your pump barrel. You'd actually have a cage here with a, with a valve in it, and this would be your traveling valve. And then you actually have another valve here seated in the seating nipple, which would be your uh, standing valve. Mm -hmm. And on the start, the startup of the actual unit, um, the, the traveling valve ball opens, comes off a seat, opens and lets you come, lets you go downwards. You're actually grabbing a scoop of fluid and lifting it to the surface. Mm -hmm. So the ball and, balls and seats actually work in conjunction with each other. When one of them's open, the other one's closed. Then the other one opens and the other one closes and you're basically just repeating the cycle and actually bringing that fluid back up into the pump chamber and actually lifting that column of fluid to the surface. Okay, and the fluid travels through your tubing? Through your tubing, the surface, right? um, you know, yeah, up to the uh, tank batteries on surface. Um, gotcha. This is actually a single valve version. Um, there's only one valve on the traveling valve, one on the standing valve. We, we can actually double valve those. Um, but, uh, okay, and the benefit to double valving is? Um, just uh, kind of a backup, um, you know, kind of a security type thing. Um, this valve, because if one of these valves, if a piece of sand or particularly gets trapped up under it and it actually can't seat, um, it won't work. So, gotcha. you know, there's a chance you could actually have to pull the tubing and to get, you know, or actually pull the pump to actually uh, retrieve it and fix the problem, so. Very cool, and is there any type of particular problems that you can show us that are common with pump jack wells with this uh, model? Um, what we like to see is, is actually um, pumping uh, long, slow strokes. Okay. Um, a lot of people have a tendency to go in and um, over pump their wells. Um, we want to actually just pump the amount of fluid that the, that the formation's actually given up. Okay. Um, if you over pump your wells, you can create some problems and issues, especially, um, you know, that's when it gives time for the particulates to settle in down on, down on your pumps. And, you know, sand is a big, big issue on, on shutdown periods and things like that. Um, so we try to pump them long and slow strokes. And it also um, helps with better efficiency, It helps right? better efficiency your... also. As you can see, the fluid, everything's moving kind of nice and slow. And, um, you know, everything's, if you start to speed it up and over pump it, you'll see what happens. You're actually introducing a bunch of agitation and a bunch of things into the actual where you're not getting, and then eventually you'll get to where you're not getting full fillage on your, on your chamber here and then when it does come down you're actually going to smack that fluid and create what they call fluid pound okay so the longer the stro slower strokes the better efficiency you'll actually get and then as i speed it up again you can see kind of see what happens and can you talk a little bit about the wear that this causes on a system what's that the wear that this causes on a system if you're pumping too fast yeah if you're pumping too fast especially if you get this void in here um that shock wave when that actual valve hits that fluid you know it, it's a, it's actually you can actually tell when a pump is doing that because you can actually feel it clear into the bridle you actually go out to a pump a, a pump jack and if the bridle kind of you can hear it kind of a slam down and then mm -hmm. you hear it wiggle, you around, it, a wiggle around you'll know it's yeah. actually pounded fluid okay um, so, All right. Well, thank you. Yeah, There's a couple you. great key terminologies for students or anybody in the industry about rod lift. And so, thank you for your time and we appreciate well, the model. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank thank you. you. Thanks.